Well, strap on a tight sports bra because you're about to have your nips blown back. We have the biggest Nintendo League we've had in years, maybe ever. 17 upcoming games and a whole slew of other goodies. Your thumbs are going to be raw from rubbing the thumbsticks on your Nintendo Switch, Switch Lite, and Switch Pro or Super Switch when that bad boy comes out. Let's get this thing. Alrighty guys, sharing my screen over here. I have an article pulled up with some pretty highlights I made on it. This will be sourced or cited down there in the description below as I do anytime I cover any kind of news in the gaming community or industry. And this is pretty exciting stuff here. So a huge, ladies, take a look at it. It's girthy. It's long as well. The article, it's long. Uh, we have a leak here. 17 upcoming games. I can't even count that high, but I can read the article for you and that's what I'm going to do. Whether any or all of these games will end up being released on the Switch and Switch Lite, that's not what I care about. Will they be playable on the Switch 2? Switch Pro? Super Switch? I'm naming them like they're three different consoles. They're just one console that might actually be coming out holiday of this year. Might, might. Take that with a huge grain of pubes. Some of these titles have been thrown around through several rumors, reports, and leaks. This doesn't necessarily add weight to the new report, but it does suggest there might be some truth to individual claims. If the report is wholly accurate, praise the Lord. If it's wholly accurate, it's one of the biggest Nintendo leaks in years since the Civil War. Now, the report starts with uh, four games that are getting ports or remasters that will hit Switch and Switch Lite. You got DBZ Kakarot, Dark Souls 2 Remastered, Tales of Destiny 2, and a nostalgic Zelda game, most likely Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. Two absolute masterpieces. I do own every single Zelda game uh, from basically every platform ever through emulation. Bit of a little retro gamer, as you can tell from the wall back there. Welcome to Gamer Heaven, where we focus on the past, present, and future of gaming. Welcome to the Gamer Heaven, where we focus on where gaming started, where it's at, and where it's going. Super dramatic, I know. So moving on from those four ports, we have some following games that are caveated. They're probably not ports or remasters, but entire remakes. So obviously like what happened with Final Fantasy VII, it's basically a whole new game at its core, basically just taking the story and some of the spice of the uh, previous generation game. We have Fossil Fighters, Time Splitters. That was a good one. A Sonic game. I wonder which one and a Virtual Boy title, so that'd be pretty sick. Virtual Boy was a console, by the way. I have probably about 600 Virtual Boy titles through Emulation 2. Never launched a single one of them. Might have played like one of them, but it's good to have these libraries, these archives of classic games just there for you. A rainy day, maybe some hail, some sleet, some skeet, who knows what's happening. And you're like, damn, I wanna cuddle up by the fireplace with a classic game. But the report doesn't stop there. But yet it shifts gears. Yes. I think I just broke my gaming chair getting a little intense with that acceleration, but hey, twin turbos, baby, and I'm running on high boost. Crazy princess trying to help her daddy make a video. Want to say hi to the, the, the Murter people? Say hi, big girl. Oh, yeah, give me your kisses. I like those. What you, what you whimpering for? You just went out to... You took a six-pound shit. I just saw you. I'll take you out again. I'll be right back, boys. So moving on after my little car spasm where I snapped my neck from the whiplash of the acceleration, we are going to be getting some brand new games as well. Mario Strikes, a new uh, Wario Warfare, a Metroid 2D side-scroller, a Sonic spinoff, and a new Radiant Historia. All good stuff there. It's a lot to digest, I know. Just take bite-sized nibbles. Make sure you drink a lot of water as well. And just treat it like an appetizer because there is more. You're not finished yet. We have several courses to go. Capping all this off, the report mentions three games it claims should be taken with an extra grain of cum. An Earthbound reboot, a me game similar to Guitar Hero, so a um, musical rhythm game, and more Ring Fit Adventures if you're trying to burn those calories as, uh, you know, COVID numbers go down, but your weight goes up and, you know, beach season's right around the corner and you want to shed a couple of pounds and, you know, wrapping your belly in saran wrap at night just isn't doing it for you anymore. All of this comes by the way of Eclipse over there on Twitter. It's a Nintendo leaker. Although right now it is unclear if any of these leaks are original, so brand new, or if they are just taking the megaphone to recent rumors. Yeah, hi guys. I heard that there's some serious Nintendo titles coming out like 17 of them. So what I want you to do is get all the journalistic platforms together. I want you to get Comic Book, Kotaku, Press Square, get them all in there. PC Gamer, write an article about it. Go ahead and spread these rumors. Even if they're not true, put them on your finger, spread them on the upper lip of the gaming community. So they might be true, they might not. That is true of any leak that we get, but a lot of times they are, like the majority of times. These little leaks we get, they do come to fruition. So hopefully that is the case because these are 17 pretty good titles. Am I excited about all of them? No, but the majority of them? Yes, I would say. Especially if a lot of these are going to be playable on the Switch, Switch Lite, and the 
future generation of the Switch, which of course Nintendo never commented on that as they don't comment on rumors, leaks, or reports. And they haven't said a peep about any of these rumors here and they're not going to. We wouldn't expect them to. I think it's gonna do it, boys. If you enjoyed this video, lubricate your thumb with whatever you have laying around the house, some Crisco, some candle wax, that'll get the job done. Shove your thumb right up the old tuchus of the YouTube algorithm, kind of tickle the like button a couple of times. That helps this video to get seen by more people, which in turn helps me grow this channel into a big, thick, veiny, girthy rager of a content creation platform. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.